My name is Sue Benton, and I got a total hip replacement. Just refused to imagine that it was anything except, you know, just muscle strain. But then it went on and on and on and on, and finally a friend of mine who's a physical therapist said, maybe you should go get an x-ray. And I, so I finally did because it was really, my, my mobility, my range of motion was really getting restricted. And that was freaking me out. And I, you know, like I would, I would teach a dance class and then I would come out and I would have to pull my legs into my car. And I felt like I was about 100 years old. And when I went to the first guy to get a, um, you know, an x-ray, he said, hip replacement. And it was like, are you talking to someone behind me? Because you... I couldn't hear it. I couldn't hear it. It was like, I, I am just so not ready for that. I was just shocked. <laughs> I'm still kind of shocked, <laughs> you know? First thing is, when I went to see um, Dr. Fletcher, he said, yeah, you need it, and, and here's why you need it. You could live with this for the rest of your life if you wanted to. It just depends on how much it impacts your life. and it really impacted my life. Go for a walk with my husband and I'd have to say, we have, I gotta go back, I gotta turn around. So what I have to say about the hospital, everybody was so kind. I wasn't a number, but every single person, the surgeon, the anesthesiologist, all the nurses, even the people that, you know, did the intake information, the people that came to wash the floor or deliver the dinners, everybody knew my name. Everybody knew that I had a hip replacement. Nice experience. I mean, if you have to have it done, you know, it was, I can't say enough about how well I was taken care of. Really happy I got it done. It, it, it was, you know, I wish I would have done it a little sooner because I, for 18 months, I was in denial. <laughs> you know, you have to be feel comfortable with it and you have to feel comfortable with your surgeon. And everybody was saying, you must go into New York City. You must go to HSS. And I'm so glad I didn't because th I felt like I was in my community. It was, you know, I, it was, it's very at home. You know, I feel like I'm in a community place and I didn't have to schlep into New York City. And I'm just really glad I didn't do that because I checked it out and I said, you know what, I'm just gonna stay here local. And I'm really glad I did that.